So recently, a lot of people have been coming to me with the same uh, question or the same issue uh, that they would like some help with. And it kind of goes like this. My ex and I share children and one of us is about to move very, very far away. It could be several states away. It could be an entire continent away. And what do we do now? How are we going to make sure that both of us preserve a relationship with our children? Hi, my name is Adam Halper. I'm a mediator, a collaborative attorney, and a parenting coordinator. And I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes uh, talking about this issue, which I think it represents for a lot of parents, uh, especially those who are separated, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, and a lot of initial upset, and talk about a couple of interesting um, uh, solutions. So first and foremost, uh, I think it's important, I often remind people, you know, what does the child need? Uh, if, if one of the parents is moving and the child is, or the children are toddlers or very young, that represents just a very different set of considerations when you're trying to figure out what the parenting plan is going to be than if the children are teenagers. You're probably not going to be flying babies back and forth. And by the same token, teenagers can probably... Um, have parenting time with both parents very differently. Uh, you want to preserve stability. At the same time, uh, you want to make sure that both parents are connected and where the child children are in their lives is kind of a key consideration, best interests. Second thing that I find myself doing a lot with, with parents in this situation is really exploring the calendar for the year. I set up a school year calendar on one side, the holiday calendar on the other side. And what people find is that very often they have much more time to be able to travel with the children and see the other parent or for that parent to come to them however they want to work it out than they thought that they had. Uh, it, Initially, they were like, well, I'm not, we're not going to be able to do three days on, four days off, but there's a lot of time in the year that uh, people uh, should probably be exploring and explore creatively. And the last thing uh, that I think is very interesting, and actually it was suggested to me by parties that I was working with, not by me, and that is, is that one parent had the children for elementary school, and then they would go and live with the other parent from middle school and high school. And they developed that idea because again, it represented the best interests of everyone involved, but most specifically for a whole lot of other considerations, not the least of which because it felt equitable to both of them. The schools really changed a lot uh, and it just seemed right for the children. And it was gonna mean, mean a big change for both of them, uh, both parents as well as the children. However, it also seemed to be the right thing to do. And I have to tell you that years later, I found out that it worked out perfectly. Um, in any event, I'm Adam Halper. My site is www.newyorkadr.com. And if you'd like to learn more, please give me a call. Thank you.